How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Ruffle Rowlett, and welcome back to a brand new video. I literally woke up a while ago, it's like six, seven in the morning when I'm recording this, uh, and I'm about to head out to go to a convention called Facts in Ghent, Belgium. So if you see me there, say hello. By the way, I'm about to do that. But before we do that, we got some information. We got actually a lot of information. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a beverage, because we've got Pokemon anime news. We've got possibly the game has been actually leaked. The BDSP actually may already be out in the wild. Um, I will only show you a little bit of the stuff I've seen because I don't want to get in trouble with Nintendo and I don't know what the rules are for sharing this information because I don't want to get strikes and stuff. But nonetheless, though, there is a, a lot of stuff. Let's just say a lot of stuff to go through. So let's start with the anime stuff, which has good implications and big implications for uh, Legends Aussies and stuff. So first things first, um, in the new uh, anime like uh, arc that's coming in the Pokemon Journeys, they're actually going to do a thing where Dialga and Palkia are fighting more or less and Ash Go as well as the uh, Dawn and I think the new female character I don't remember the name of uh, have to go there and uh, more or less just deal with it, right? Uh, but what happens in this is something really strange. Now I'm going to put my camera in the way to block partially what's going on here and I'm going to have to mute the audio. But basically what happens is that um, they have like these alternate reality Dawns and Ashes and whatnot show up. Uh, while Dialga and Palkia are fighting. And what's interesting is also at one point here, Dialga reverts time and actually reverts, and you can see right here, there's an alternate reality, uh, you know, Ash more or less. But also what happens is it reverts time backwards, um, you know, because, well, you got the space and time thing going on. So space, you know, the literal dimensions and time being like literal time being reverted. So they actually turn into children, which is really random. Uh, but that's what ends up happening with the, you know, the squad. And they're in the distortion world, I think. Actually, no, the, the world, one of the worlds in between where Dialga, Palkia, Giratina and Arceus, like one of the many worlds they're in. I'm not sure which one exactly, but nonetheless, they are here being kept together by Arceus. As you can see, there's like the Arceus thingy around them. Like around Dialga's like, uh, you know, stomach, there's one. And also around the, I guess, arms and whatnot on uh, Palkia, there is one. And uh, they're kind of clashing into each other above there. But then what ends up happening as Ash and the other Ash are trying to like help out, their Pokemon get sent back in time and literally turn back into eggs. And P Pikachu turns into a Pichu. And Ash and the squad and all of them basically turn into children. Also Team Rocket looking pretty, pretty snazzy. Uh, but yeah, they basically turn into children at one point, which is just insane right here turning to children, uh, like the time gets reverted on them, which could be an implication that possibly going into the future, they could send the characters back in time to Hisui in this like, you know, in this arc, they could literally do that. It could literally send them back in time to Hisui and whatnot. So honestly, kind of a crazy time to be a Pokemon fan. But yeah, the special post for the upcoming Pokemon anime special episodes due to air on December 3rd and 10th in Japan, uh, which will be, I guess, uh, two episode special uh, of sorts. And uh, it's going to be crazy, man. And here is like uh, something that Nihilego said about specifically BDSP, which I thought we'd take a look at, which is that BDSP is kind of lame for me. Uh, I won't buy one this year. Maybe going to get it after PLA or when home is available. Game graphics are beautiful, stunning and impressive. But others, meh. Nostalgia for Gen 4 uh, foreigners uh, collecting, um, you know, huh, one to four months, newly unlocked months in Apricorn Balls and Shiny Hunt. Um, I guess that's what he's trying to say, just that you will be repeating the same stuff as always. And then also, um, we have this image that showed up and actually had this sent to me by multiple people. Um, and I think um, Soul Silver Art in particular actually went through this, um, talking about it. So what we see right here is this image with a Pokeball at the bottom, which could be implying because they do with these Pokedex images that they do, I think every time there's a new game coming out, um, there's usually a Pokeball at the bottom, which could be implying a, a hidden Pokemon, like a mythical of sorts, a brand new one that might be showing up. And in this case, it could be another new one that's showing up. Uh, I'm going to see if I can find the exact post about this that uh, he posted here, but I don't know if I actually have access to it right now because I don't really know. But um, nonetheless, basically, uh, here it is, right? So I think it's obvious, uh, unknown, uh, that just unknowingly stumbled upon us, a mystery Pokeball at the end of the BDSP promo merch. There have been a new trend in Pokemon Dex images like these to hide and hint a new mythical for the region. I know Zeraora and Zarud were hidden in similar ways, and you can see them at the bottom right there, and you can see it at the bottom right here. Uh, so could it possibly be that in this image right here, we have the same thing going on with the hidden Pokeball, that it could be hinting something like a brand new mythical of sorts. Um, these are the promos of Coffee Lids, and it uses Platinum's Pokedex order, ending with Frostlass. It then uses the National Dex order, but moves the Yalga and Palkia and Giratina towards the end. So, what the deal is here, I don't really know. We'll have to wait and see how this all pans out in more or less, you know, 
sometime soon. So yeah, whatever happens, happens, I guess, but we'll just have to wait and see how things turn out. Nonetheless, that's what Soul Silver Art was saying right there. He did also post a bunch of other stuff as well, uh, just more or less theories and stuff. Uh, for example, like, you know, talking about what number three could be. As for number three, they said UB is just an expectation because I don't understand three. But since Ku said what he said in the image, uh, the images below, I suggest that it must be a legendary, a mythical Pokemon, which could be the case here because it could connect to the whole Pokemon that's hidden in the Pokedex image. But we continue on. Ladies and gentlemen, this is where I'm going to have to get a little bit more uh, Heidi about this. I will link all these tweets and all these links and posts and stuff below, but I won't be like... I'll try to avoid showing them for the most part. But basically, uh, right above me is the cover for BDSP or Brilliant Diamond in particular, which has apparently leaked. And then uh, this, you know, popped up on Reddit. Now, what is interesting about that is that on Reddit, this guy actually has more or less game footage. Like, this is actual footage of the game. There's two different copies he's got going on right here. Um, I won't play this. It's just like the, the screen here. I won't be playing it, but it is a video and I will link it down below. You guys can go check it out. It's a playable video. Uh, and then there's also this one, which is, this is images more or less, I think. Uh, but I'm going to just uh, keep my you know face over it. Uh, again, sorry, I will link all these down below, but he has another image right here showing him trading between the games. So right behind me right now, he's doing a trade in Brilliant Diamond Shining Bro between, these two, between his two switches. So what I'm trying to say is the game is going to leak. Literally all of the game is going to leak. But this guy also said something interesting besides him actually like showing this stuff off and like, you know, uh, actually essentially leaking this stuff, uh, you know, showing off the back cover, the front cover and actual footage, which, uh, you know, is literally out now. He also said something interesting. So this is the guy right here who leaked everything. He said something very, very interesting, which is post game battle frontier is in and distortion world is in. So this would more or less, if this is true, which ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah, the game is pretty much leaked. The game is pretty much leaked. Behind me right now is the actual gameplay footage, um, literal like actual footage. Uh, and I think right here we can essentially see that as well, right? There you go. The game is essentially on the Switch now. A guy has gotten it. And uh, what I'm trying to say is, Guys, don't go on Twitter, avoid everything if you don't want to get spoiled. But to be honest with you, there's not really much to spoil. If you played Diamond and Pearl, you've played this game. I'm going to be frankly honest with you. There's not much that can be spoiled about this game. It's already known knowledge to say the least, right? It's already known knowledge. But what is interesting to me, besides like him actually showing stuff off, which I'm not going to show more of that. I just wanted to give you an idea what's going on. All this is from Reddit, by the way. So Nintendo, don't come after me. I'm not the one like, you know, that got this information out there, whatever. It's on Reddit publicly. Just saying, okay, Nintendo ninjas, stay away from me. Uh, nonetheless, what I want to say is that... Um, we basically have a confirmation by this guy that Battle Frontier and Distortion World is in the game, more or less. That's that's basically what we got right here. We got a confirmation that those are in, and uh, that actually is pretty awesome. So, ladies and gentlemen, I got confirmation of those two uh, features being in there. But that's not all, though. I want to talk about, uh, as finally, I want to talk about the actual anime episode, right, that's airing, this, this one. Because, guys, I don't know about you guys, but this is going to be a very interesting situation with the anime. Because if they're going to be able to revert time and turn them young and whatnot and stuff like that, this could imply and could mean that we are looking at a situation where, like, we could easily have the characters of Ash and Go and, you know, even Dawn possibly, all of them being sent back in time to Hisui because what would stop, you know, Diaga from doing that? And what would stop the, the creators of the show from doing that? And of course, I think they want to do that to match up with the releases of the new games uh, in February, give or take, right? Because the game is coming out, like Legends is coming out in January, the end of January. So into February, they probably want to do some sort of promo or some sort of like, you know, a crossover episode thingy. Just something to like, you know, like, just something, you know what I mean? Like just, just something more or less. So I want to know what you guys think about that in general. Like, what are your thoughts? Do you think that they will connect the two together or like, you know, what the deal is? I just want to know. And also, shout out to Soul Silver Art. He sent me this as well, and I thought I would, might as well just cover it. A new discovery. Thanks to a lovely person giving us an, uh, an Asian look at Ku's riddles. This person wanted to remain anonymous, but info here are their quotes. I'm now 90% sure, sure I, that what number seven is and possibly number five. And here's what he's got. Basically, the new UB, which could be a new Ultra Beast in this case, um, He's got that. He's got the Hisuian evil of uh, Sneasel, which is poison fighting, uh, Quillfish, 
Ursaring Evo, and then that's that for the new Pokemon with the new UB. And then on the other side, with the, uh, you know, with these guys, you've got an Ice Rock Avalug, you've got Typhlosion, Decidueye, and Samurott Evolutions, you've got um, Gudra's, like, evolutionary line, uh, mid-stage and final stage, getting brand new things, uh, Grass Fighting, uh, Liliganth, I think it was called, uh, brand Braviary, History and Braviary, uh, Bask Basculin, and of course we have Basculegion as a brand new evolution, uh, Quillfish, um, like, just... Normal Quillfish, I guess, getting a new form. Uh, Sneasel, normal Sneasel getting a new form. Zora, Zoroark, um, you've got Arcanine and Growl like uh, Growlithe, and you've got Voltorb and Electrode. So that would be the list of all the riddles, more or less, uh, that we've seen. And also, I know I've got to stop saying more or less. I, I, I've, I've heard you guys clearly, okay? You guys have been saying, you know, um, that, that, you know, like... They, they, they need that. So either way, um, apparently, according to Nihilego, um, apparently the game actually needs... Uh, we're going to just take a look at what he posted right here. He says, A shame that even BDSP needs a first day launch patch to make some functions available. Still not capable of doing anything else other than trades and only two players allowed in Union Room. Um, so apparently, like, the game is already leaked. And I think he might also have access to it already. I don't know. But yeah, like... Basically, a lot of stuff is, is going on right now. So I want to know what you guys think about all this. Let me know in the comment section down below, ladies and gents. That's going to be more or less it for today. Um, I don't really want to, you know, uh, go further into the images and leaked stuff because I just don't want to deal with potentially, like, you know, uh, trouble, more or less, right? But, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it. Thanks for watching. My name is Rolf Arad. I'll see you all the next time. Peace out and bye-bye, ladies and gentlemen.